Hello and welcome, in line with the recent submersible tragedy, today we will discuss about a 2018 movie called Korsk, so sit back press the CC subtitles and enjoy the video. Michael is helping his son reach his new record of holding breath underwater, being a good father and a supportive friend, he also tries to buy a bottle of wine as gift for his friend's wedding in exchange for his own maritime watch. The exercise in the Barents Sea begins for the Russian Navy's Northern Fleet, which includes the Oscar-class submarine Korsk. During the operation, weapons officer Pavel Soman alerts the captain about a potential hydrogen peroxide leak in a HTP torpedo as its internal temperature rapidly rises. Unfortunately, the captain dismisses Pavel's concerns and moments later, the torpedo explodes prematurely, resulting in the tragic death of the weapons room crew. This initial explosion causes a secondary blast, tearing a hole in the submarine's forward hull and causing it to sink to the seabed. The surviving crew members gather in the aftmost compartment, which is rapidly filling with water. They anxiously await rescue while, on land, rumors about the submarine start circulating among the sailors' wives. Royal Navy Commodore David Russell detects seismic activity and concludes that the Korsk has experienced an accident. Initially, Admiral Grudzinski, the commander of the Northern Fleet, believes there are no survivors. However, tapping is heard from inside the submarine, prompting the Russians to deploy a rescue submersible. Unfortunately, the outdated and poorly maintained craft fails to form a seal on the Korsk's hull, forcing it to resurface and wait for a 12-hour battery recharge. Meanwhile, the surviving crew members face dwindling air supplies, leading two of them to venture into a flooded compartment to retrieve oxygen cartridges. Another rescue attempt is made, but once again, the submersible fails to establish a seal on the hull. Foreign offers of assistance are rejected due to concerns over revealing Russian naval secrets. On land, the families, wives, and friends of the sailors become increasingly frustrated with the Russian Admiralty's lack of transparency. However, Admiral Grudzinski eventually accepts an earlier offer from Russell, only to be relieved of command shortly thereafter. The Russian Navy instructs Russell, along with British and Norwegian divers, not to approach the Korsk. Despite this, a third Russian rescue attempt is made, but the submersible still fails to create a seal. Finally, the Russians reluctantly agree to accept foreign assistance. Inside the Korsk, the crew tries to boost morale by enjoying a breakfast buffet. However, during this gathering, an oxygen cartridge accidentally falls into the water, causing a flash fire that consumes the remaining oxygen supply. With only minutes of breathable air remaining, the crew bid their final farewells while singing the sailors' band. Russell's divers arrive too late, finding the entire hull flooded and all crew members deceased. At the funeral, Misha, the son of one of the sailors, refuses to shake hands with Admiral Petrenko. A land-based crew member presents Misha with his father's maritime watch, which his father had sold earlier to buy champagne for Pavel Sonin's wedding. If you like more of my videos please consider liking and subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on more movie hidden gem recaps. Thank you.